Good Business San Diego. I'm Roy Robertson, and today we welcome back attorney Christopher J. Sonnen, owner of Sonnen Law. They're a firm focused on matters such as divorce, family law, and restraining orders. And Sonnen Law has uh, earned accolades such as being named San Diego's best law firm by readers of the San Diego Union Tribune. And San Diego Magazine calls Son-in-Law the face of divorce law. So, Chris, welcome back. Good to have you here, and congratulations on those accolades. Thanks. Nice to be here again, Roy. As we all know, uh, COVID has impacted every aspect of our lives. How has it impacted your practice? When we're talking about uh, litigation and family law, has, have, you, have you seen any changes? What's been going on? Well, the pandemic has been hard on everyone, Roy, and it's really placed relationships in a dangerous zone. Old relationships, now people want to fight about child custody. New relationships are now at a breaking point. There's an uptick in divorce filings and there's an uptick in paternity cases. Uh, but mainly we're seeing a lot of child custody issues that have come out of it. Yeah. It's that personal toll that it's taken, right? Of course, now it is back to school time. Any suggestions for people that have children stuck in a situation where there's disputes about what's going to happen in this COVID back to school scenario? Well, it's a tough situation, Roy. And so for most of you out there, you're sharing legal custody, which means that there's joint decision making for both parties. And so that can lead to problems. Obviously, there are some exceptions, but the main reality is you guys should all try and reach an agreement. You can reach these agreements informally, but better legal practice is to put it in writing, modify the court order and try and avoid court. So obviously good advice there, try and work it out between mom and dad. However, if it's uh, at an impasse, if you're at loggerheads here, uh, what do you recommend, what do you do next if there is no agreement? Well, the court is always your backstop, Roy. And so the court is prepared to resolve this difference between in-person learning and distance learning, or perhaps homeschooling as you may wanna call it. Uh, hopefully you filed a motion already if there's a dispute. If you haven't, there may be a reason to appear for an emergency hearing for the court. Uh, the court does not wanna see any children out of school. So this may be cause to uh, have an immediate filing and then go forward. You are going to need to go to mediation if you go to court. You are going to have a court hearing. Some of these are virtual, some of these are in person. But again, try and save yourself that trouble and work it out prior to court. Now, these are complex issues, a lot of entanglement there. So uh, how do you help simplify this for people? When they contact you, what's going to happen? Well, they're either going to speak to myself, uh, Chris Sonnen, or they're going to speak to my senior associate, William Hanash. We're prepared to give you this type of advice throughout the COVID pandemic we've been opening and answering these tough questions. So we do offer a free consultation and we recommend that you call if you are having this type of dispute because these issues are complex. Absolutely, and uh, Son-in-Law is a local firm, so yes, you get that initial phone consultation, but you also have the proximity to the attorneys right here in town, right? Yes, that's correct. We are locally based and very community oriented. And it's such an emotional time for people. I think this is the time when you really need that kind of objectivity, the guidance to get you through this crisis, right? Definitely, uh, and the experience to do it. As I mentioned, we were open through the whole pandemic. Myself and Will have over 30 years experience, so we are ready to guide you through these difficult times. All right, Chris, thanks very much. We'll get everybody to the website. It's sunnen-law.com. That's sunnen-law.com.